This is a case of retained products of conception following a first trimester abortion. On transvaginal ultrasound, retained products of conception or RPOC appear as echogenic or heterogeneous material within the endometrial cavity. This material may have irregular margins and can vary in size and shape. RPOC can also cause thickening of the endometrial lining which is seen as an increased echogenicity of the endometrial stripe on ultrasound. In some cases, gestational sac remnants may be seen. However, that was not the case in this patient. In some cases, there may be posterior acoustic enhancement seen as increased brightness posterior to the lesion. Color Doppler ultrasound can show increased vascularity within the endometrial cavity. As in this case, we can see a leash of vessels entering entering the retained products of conception within the endometrial cavity. This increased flow is often due to neovascularization and inflammation surrounding the retained products of conception. Pulsatile flow on spectral Doppler may be seen within the vascular structures associated with the RPOC. This pulsatility is related to the increased blood flow within the endometrial cavity. There is also, in cases of RPOC, the resistive index or the RI measured by spectral Doppler may be relatively low due to the increased vascularity and decreased resistance. The peak systolic velocity in this case is between 10 to 20 centimeters per second. In AVM, the peak systolic velocity would be greater than 50 centimeters per second. Uterine curettage was advised in this patient. Hysteroscopic resection may be done in some cases.